Okay, so um, first drill, feed and follow. Um, five people on the court. Uh, everyone starts on the baseline except player five, who is back by the cart. And so we can put a cart back here by the fence, and that's where player five is. Uh, so what's going to happen here with five players on a court? Um, we'll say player three, because they're on the cart side, is going to feed a ball in short. And then they are going to run um, up. They're going to run up to the net. Now, um, player three will now be right here, approximately. But they're probably going to have to stop and split step. Uh, when player two plays the ball. So player three wants to make sure that they hit the ball deep because otherwise uh, player two is going to go up to the net instead, which would be bad for player three because they're supposed to be at the net. So they're gonna you're going to want to tell kids to feed it deep so that way they can approach the net on that ball. And if the point, they're going to play out a point cross court, so only using... Um, you know, for player three, only using uh, this half, right? Doubles, alleys are in. And player two is only using this half. So they're just playing cross court, doubles, alleys are in. Um, and uh, if player three accidentally hits the ball out right away or player two does, player three can have a second ball in their pocket to feed the ball right in, uh, the second ball right in, and uh, play the point out. Uh, once they have played the point out, player three should then go this way off the court and then back around to the cart and grab another ball. And uh, while that's going on, uh, as soon as player three is done, player four should hit their shot. So um, let's see if I can find another color here. Uh, player four should do the same thing and feed it cross court to player one and uh, charge the net. And once again, split step, if they only get this far uh, and the ball comes back, they should split step right there, handle the transition volley, and then keep going to the net. Because a lot of times they'll uh, run through the transition volley and, and you don't want them to do that. So don't run through volleys. And then also make sure that they continue to the net afterwards because they'll stop and they'll just stay on that X and that you don't want them doing that. So um, also a good reminder here is don't swing at your volleys. Uh, the racket should stay on the side of the body that you're making the volley on, and it shouldn't go across your body. So smaller compact swings are better. Um, yeah, uh, elbow closer to the side, maybe not right on the side, but closer to the side. All right, and then um, player five is the next one. Now, while the point with player four is going on, player five should head up to be the new player three. Um, and the point of that is that uh, player three, if I continue to have them be the blue, um, they are going to, um, uh, after player five has played their cross court point versus player two, player three is going to now go to this side. So I guess what I'm saying here is um, you should each time you're uh, playing the cross court rally, you should play a different player. Um, so meaning player three will play one this time, right? Hitting the feed here and charging the net. And uh, so, yeah, so every time you're you, you, you're going through the line, break to the outside afterwards, come back around and then go to the, the other side uh, the next time. All right. Uh, that's feed and follow. Five players should go well. Um, you don't really need to do too much once they know how to play it. Uh, bump the chump. Uh, this is different than the bump the chump. Um, the other There's another way to play bump the chump with three points. That's not this. Um, so what this is, is once again, the court is divided into halves. Um, this time's player two and four are going to use the red side here. And... Um, one and three are going to use the, the, the side that isn't red. And, um, so something that happened in the last game is because there's crossfire, you want to only have one point going out at a time. All right. So three and 
two are playing and four has to wait. Uh, so, um, yeah, in this game, since it's all down the line, they can, they should be going at the same time and they are not waiting for each other. And that's why there's six players on this court because this will go a little faster. And, uh, the way, um, this bump, the chump goes is like you make a number, let's say one and three are playing and you just make a rule. Like the ball has to go two times to count. So the ball goes out three hit, three feeds it in because they're on the cart side right here, right? And uh, one hits it back. And then the ball is live. And if three beats one, they head over to the other side. And they get to be the champ. Um, that's it. And then uh, five and six, it doesn't matter, you know, what side you play on. You know, should you alternate opponents? It doesn't matter. Um just try and keep the drill going and try and uh, not have any standing around. Um, but that one's fun, and that could go on on multiple courts. So not, But about six people per court seems to work pretty well. Um, and, and another thing is you can make the rule three balls. But what, when you make a rule like that, uh, if they don't get to two or three balls... Um, they just, they, they don't, they don't go back in line. They just get another ball. And, uh, so that's why I like, like two, it's got to go back and forth twice because if they make a mistake, they just restart it. And, um, and they, they until they get the two balls in a row. And, uh, so that can be tough for really bad players. Um, feed and follow. Uh, here's another way to play feed and follow. Um, this is interesting. This is down the line, and I don't know if you can see this very well, but what what I have here is three courts set up in a particular way with the carts, we'll say in orange. All right, so we got these orange carts, and uh, that's obviously the feeding side. So um, in this version of feed and follow, uh, <clears throat> we'll say that they're still going cross court. All right, I just made that up and that's fine. Um so in this one when they play cross court, once again no crossfire, they're going to wait one feeds it in to play four like that and then and then follows that ball into the net and then exits the court and comes back around and the same thing with two uh feeds it in like this and then you know charges and then plays the point out and then comes back around and with this one i would have them not switch sides so two always or one always plays four now here it is again and goes back around and two always plays three now the reason for this is you'll have them play for a little while and um <clears throat> Then you can say something like, all right, now, uh, after, you know, two or three minutes of that, you can say, uh, cart side, uh, feeders switch. So what that means is one and two are going to switch spots. So now, um, now, uh, you know, um, one will play against four, right? So, or one will play against three, sorry. So one will be here and, and two will be um, let me use black here. One will be here and two will be here. And so, yeah, and that'll happen on all the courts. So this is going on in all the courts and all the courts get the rule that they're, that the cart side is going to switch, right? So right here, five and six would have switched because they would be now can play a different uh, seven or eight. Uh, I think five was originally playing eight and six was originally playing seven. And, um, Notice the, the carts on the opposite side, and that's on purpose. I'll get back to that. And then 11 and 12 can switch. And the carts over back on this side. So the reason why it's I like that is because what's going to happen here in um, after another two or three minutes, you're going to tell everyone to move to their right two spots. And the idea of that is that now one and two are going to go to this court where they are no longer the, the, the feeder and, and they are now 
the person who just gets to receive the ball and play the point out. And 11 and 12 are, uh, are seven and eight are going to go to where to this court because they're going two spots to the right. Everyone's moving two spots to the right. And now they are feeders because there's a cart there. And 11 and 12 are going over here. And notice they don't get to feed because there's no cart there. So not only are they playing new people. So if we go back to this court on the right, right, and look at this a little more carefully, um, is that uh, now you see you have, uh, I think, seven and eight are here and um, 11 and 12 are here in blue. And, and you can see I wrote that. And so everyone's playing different people, right? That should be obvious if I go over this and, and move everybody two spots to the right. Um, so let's see, that would mean that three and four come across to be here. Um, one and two are now here. Seven and eight went there. 11 and 12 went there, 9 and 10 are now here, and uh, 5 and 6 are now here. Okay, all right, that's, that's a, uh, uh, and then you can do the same thing, you know, uh, two or three minutes, and then call a basket side, you know, switch feeders, and then um, uh, two or three more minutes, and then they can do another rotation of two spots to the right. And once again, that the, they'll switch roles and they will um, pl uh, play different people. So it's pretty genius there. All right. Uh, so this is another way of doing the drill we just saw. Um, notice the carts are on this side or they're alternating again. And this cart's here. And this is just feed short and the other side approaches. So this is similar to last time. Uh, this time we'll say... Uh, this can be done with, you know, um, cross court, but then you got to wait or it can be done just down the line. Let's say this time we just do it down the line. And so one is going to uh, feed the ball short to three and they're going to three is going to come up, hit the uh, 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 or come up, hit the uh, approach shot. Oh, geez. There goes my line. Uh, let me see if I can get that back. Um, come up hit the uh, approach shot, whoops, and play the point out and 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 uh and so on. And then they will both reset and and three will go back to the baseline and one will go to the cart get another ball and then uh once again feed it short and they'll play the point out. Three will come up, take the ball and play it out. You know, if there's an early mistake, could one give three another ball? Sure. And, uh, and then once again, you'll call a, uh, after two or three minutes, you'll call a basket side switch. And just like last time, so let's just be one and two, three and four will stay in their exact same spots. So they get to play different people. And then after a couple more minutes, you'll say a, uh, 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 two spots to the right and notice roles will change and, uh, and so on. And they will change who they play against and that that is all and that's good uh so i think that um that's the last one i don't think i had any other ones all right hopefully these uh drills work well um all right that's it